there's a name whispered among weather forecasters. A phrase that sends a shiver down the spine of anyone who understands its meaning. When the charts turn a deep, ominous blue over Siberia, it signals the arrival of something extraordinary. The beast from the east. This isn't just any cold spell. It's a dramatic, severe weather event when frigid Siberian air breaks free from its icy home and sweeps relentlessly across Europe, transforming landscapes and daily life. The term captures the raw, untamed power of this phenomenon, a fierce, invading force, not a gentle cooling, but a true onslaught of winter's might. The air comes from one of the coldest inhabited regions on Earth, making its arrival feel like opening a freezer door on a continental scale, unleashing a wave of icy air that bites through layers of clothing. The easterly winds that carry this cold are a biting reminder of its Siberian origins, cutting through cities and countryside alike with relentless force. As we approach winter, meteorologists are watching the long-range forecasts closely, searching for the subtle signs that might hint at the beast's return. The beast from the east is more than just a headline. It's a specific set of atmospheric conditions that must align perfectly, a rare but powerful convergence that can disrupt entire countries. Understanding the science behind it helps us prepare for what might come, giving us the knowledge to face the cold with resilience and readiness. To grasp the beast from the east, look to Siberia, a vast cold storage unit for the Northern Hemisphere. Here, the Siberian high forms, a dome of intensely cold air with temperatures plunging below minus 40 Celsius. Normally, the jet stream shields Europe, bringing milder Atlantic air and keeping the Siberian chill at bay. But sometimes, the jet stream weakens or buckles, opening a doorway for the frigid air to surge westward. This is the Siberian Express, relentless, biting winds racing across Eastern Europe. When this cold air hits warmer seas like the North Sea, it picks up moisture. The result? Heavy, disruptive snow showers and a dramatic plunge in temperatures. This is the infamous signature of a true beast from the East event. As winter 2025-26 approaches, meteorologists are seeing familiar warning signs in the upper atmosphere. Across weather centers, experts are poring over data, searching for patterns that could hint at what's to come. The stakes are high, as early signals can help communities prepare for whatever winter may bring. The polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air over the North Pole, usually keeps the cold contained, acting like a barrier that traps frigid air far to the north. When stable, it helps maintain typical winter weather patterns across the Northern Hemisphere. But computer models now suggest the vortex could weaken, setting off alarm bells among forecasters. This weakening is a subtle shift, but it can have dramatic consequences for weather far beyond the Arctic. A disrupted vortex can wobble or even split, sending cold air surging southward and making the jet stream unpredictable. This can lead to sudden severe cold snaps in places that aren't used to such extremes. This can allow a blocking high pressure system to form over Scandinavia, opening the floodgates to Siberian cold. When this happens, frigid air can spill westward bringing snow and ice to large parts of Europe. Forecasters are also watching for sudden stratospheric warming, or SSW, a rapid warming high above the pole that can trigger vortex breakdown. These rare events can flip weather patterns on their head, sometimes within days. While an SSW hasn't happened yet, the conditions are appearing in long-range projections. Meteorologists are keeping a close eye on these trends, knowing that a sudden shift could change the winter outlook overnight. This isn't a guarantee of a beast from the east, but the signals are strong enough to warrant public awareness. 
Early warnings help people and authorities prepare for the possibility of severe winter weather, even if the outcome remains uncertain. We're in a watch phase. The ingredients are there, but it's too early to say if they'll combine. Meteorologists will continue to monitor every development, ready to update forecasts as new data emerges. Early discussion ensures no one is caught off guard if the Siberian winds begin their westward march. Staying informed now could make all the difference when winter's true character finally reveals itself. To understand the beast from the east, look to the stratosphere, about 30 kilometers above the North Pole. Here, the polar vortex spins, locking in Arctic cold, until a sudden stratospheric warming, SSW, disrupts it. SSW is a rapid warming event caused by atmospheric waves breaking in the stratosphere, which can weaken or even reverse the vortex. The effects take about two weeks to reach the surface, disrupting the jet stream and allowing a blocking high to form over Scandinavia. This chain reaction draws in cold, dry air from the east, the classic recipe for a beast from the east. Forecasters are watching for signs of another SSW as models show increased probability this winter. To truly grasp the impact of extreme winter weather, we need to look back at what happened in February and March of 2018, a period that many still remember vividly. It all began with a sudden stratospheric warming event, or SSW, which disrupted the usual weather patterns. This was followed by a powerful high-pressure system settling over Scandinavia, which acted like a giant magnet, pulling frigid Siberian air deep into Europe. The temperature drop was both swift and brutal, transforming cities like Dublin, Cardiff and London almost overnight. Streets that were usually bustling became blanketed in thick snow and daily life ground to a halt. For the first time ever, the UK issued red warnings for snow. Hundreds of drivers found themselves stranded on icy roads, while thousands of schools across the country were forced to close their doors. The intense cold didn't let up for days. Wind chills plunged well below minus 10 Celsius, even in the usually milder southern regions, making it dangerous to be outside for long. As people tried to stay warm, energy demand soared to record highs. The gas network was pushed to its limits, raising real concerns about possible shortages and blackouts. The cold wave didn't stop at the UK's borders. Even Rome, a city unaccustomed to snow, saw its famous landmarks dusted white, while temperatures plunged across much of Europe, disrupting daily routines everywhere. The 2018 event exposed just how interconnected and vulnerable our modern systems are when faced with extreme cold. Supermarkets ran low on essentials and public transport was thrown into chaos. Remembering this isn't about scaremongering. It's a reminder of the importance of being prepared, staying informed and looking out for one another when nature throws us a challenge. When the beast from the east strikes, daily life is upended. Roads and motorways can become impassable, public transport grinds to a halt, and airports face mass cancellations. Energy demand skyrockets, putting the power grid and gas supply under immense strain. Hospitals see a surge in cold-related injuries and illnesses, while staff struggle to reach work. Schools and workplaces close, heating systems fail and pipes freeze. Supermarket shelves empty quickly as supply chains break down. The psychological toll is real. Constant cold and isolation affect well-being, especially for the elderly and vulnerable. Community support becomes critical as those living alone face greater risks. Life pauses adapting to the raw power of the cold. When severe cold is forecast, practical steps matter. Dress in layers, thermal base, 
insulating mid-layer and waterproof outer shell. Protect your extremities. Hat, gloves, thick socks and boots are essential. Eat hot meals, drink warm fluids and avoid alcohol, which increases heat loss. Keep moving outdoors, but avoid sweating. Check on vulnerable neighbours. Community support saves lives. Simple actions can make all the difference in a severe cold snap. Preparing your home is vital for weathering a beast from the east. Insulate exposed pipes to prevent bursts. And know where your main stopcock is. Service your boiler. Maintain steady heating. And use draft excluders and curtains to trap warmth. Prepare for power cuts. Keep torches batteries, a radio, and a power bank handy. Stock up on blankets, non-perishable food, and bottled water. Clear paths of snow and ice, and keep salt or grit ready. Ready your car check antifreeze, battery, and keep an emergency kit inside. A little preparation goes a long way for comfort and safety. The Beast from the East is a powerful event, triggered by a unique set of atmospheric conditions. As winter 2025 to 26 nears, the risk of a severe cold spell is higher than usual. Past events have shown the disruption it can cause, from transport chaos to energy strain. Preparation is key. Dress warmly, insulate your home, and check on the vulnerable. Keep emergency kits for home and car. Forecasters are monitoring the stratosphere and polar vortex closely. Stay tuned to trusted weather updates and be ready to act. With awareness and preparation, we can weather whatever the beast from the east brings. <laughs>